Hi there, GoodGolf here, with a new video on mirror networking. This time I will show how to use mirror networking with the Unity starter asset, third person controller. Dan Duffy requested this in the comments section of the first part of the mirror series and I wanted to give it a spin and see if it is as easy as using the Invector controller. Long story short, it is. And as a bonus, I added a package you can import into your own project and make the UI setup from the part 4 video work for yourself too. So, while the demo runs in the background, let me explain the steps of getting this to work yourself. Step 1. Create a new project in Unity 2020 and import the mirror package. Step 2. Import the Unity starter asset and enable the backends when asked. Step 3. Import the package from my GitHub page. You can find the link in the comments section. Step 4. Go to the player armature prefab in the starter asset folder and add the player script. Step 5. You will need to configure client authority on the network transform and animator components and link the prefab to the animator property. Step 6. Add the offline room and playground scenes to the build settings and you're ready to go. I published the code in the GitHub repo, with a readme file showing the configuration steps listed above. From a code perspective, it is very similar to what we did in previous videos. The UI part is the same as in part 4, so I recommend you to look at that video first. I did clean up the code a bit, so hopefully it's clearer now. Basically, the Network Room Manager is a specialized version of the Network Manager, which starts in the offline scene, continues in the room scene, where it creates a temporary room player, which gets converted into the player armature when the game scene starts. I linked a list item, which contains a UI image, text label, input field and two buttons, to the temporary room player and that's where the player can enter a player name and signal ready for the game to start. When the game scene is loaded, we first switch off all of the third person controller components in the awake method of the player script. This is the script we added to the player prefab player armature. In the onStartLocalPlayer method of the same script, we enable these scripts again for the local player instance only. That's the instance controlled from the client. Also, the camera needs to move closer to this instance and start following it. Ok, that's it for today. I recommend trying this for yourself and walking through the scenes and the components. If you have questions or suggestions for topics to cover in this series, then please let me know in the comments. There is a couple of topics already on my to-do list. Running the game through a list server in the cloud. This way clients can find a server behind a firewall. This will be the typical setup for a game hosted by a player. Running a game as a server only in the cloud. And client prediction using mirror. I expect this will be the toughest nut to crack. I'm off to work on the next video, so if you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. 